What's up, y'all? And welcome back to Hair Problems and No Edges, where we find regimented routines to regrow back our alopecia edges. So, as you can tell by today's title, I'll be showing y'all how I finger waved my hair and got my curls all juicy and get them, got them all popping right now. Y'all can see that. And also, I'll give you a bonus. I'm going to be showing y'all how I taper and line up my nape area. So, if y'all want to see that and y'all came to the right place, baby, stay tuned to the video. All right, so for us to shape up our uh, TWA, I just want to go in and just pick out the hair. Make sure we got everything combed through, get all the knots and tangles out. And we're just going to be tapering up this very low bottom here. Just this portion here, I'm not going to go into the hair. Just trying to lower this and keep it closer to the nape area. All right, so I have the walls brand clippers and i'm going to be using this uh guard it's the number four so i'm gonna start off with the high guard first to not to make sure we don't take too much hair off and then i'll drop it down to maybe a two and then probably a one and then we'll see where we're we're at let me get my little mirror i'm gonna turn around here make sure i stay in frame so you guys can see me see what i'm doing You know what, let me go get my glasses so I can see. Okay, I don't wanna be cutting gashes in my head and I can't see, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, so now that I have my glasses on, I can see a little something, something. All right, and we're gonna take the clippers on our number four guard. These are a little loud, y'all, so bear with me. It's not cutting a lot off because the guard is a high guard, number four. So once I drop it down to like a two, it'll you'll see hair probably falling. I don't really believe it's cutting anything at this point. So we're gonna change the guard. I'm gonna put the two and a half inch on here. All right, so this is now the two and a half. I'm trying to see if you guys can see that. And we're just gonna replace that and change it. Just snap it on. Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> and I am getting hair off of here so that's what a number two and a half we're gonna drop it down and go to a number one we're gonna change it out now and put a number one on there and then i'm gonna use my toothbrush real quick and this is just a hairbrush toothbrush and just make sure we get any hairs out of our blade and then replace it with the number one. And these just snap on and snap right off. So now that the uh, number one is lower, more closer to the blade, the actual blade of the clippers, we want to make sure this is critical because this will cut off more hair than the number four. The lower the guard, the more hair comes off your head. So make sure you remember that. Don't go up in here if this is not where you want to cut with a number one because you will cut a gash into your afro and you don't want to do that. So with this, all I want to do is stay at the nape. So I'm not really going to go up in here. I'm just going to be scraping these very, the very end of the nape with the number one. All right, so shorter the guard, the more hair comes off. So you want to stay low to the nape. Trying to get you guys a close-up of the nape. 
as you can see we started out with a four went down to a two and a half and then dropped it down to a one so you want this graduation from nape and it's getting bigger actually shaping the afro that way lined it up to line my neck i'm going to take the guard off and just use the liners to line my neck all right so let's get the guard off the clippers and this was as much as I got off with the number one, as you can see. The four didn't take any because my hair was not that long. The two and a half took a small portion. And then the one took off the additional hairs to lay it down on the nape. So that is actually giving me a really nice shape. I love that. Let's remove the one. We're just going to use the clippers to shape up the hairline. Around the nape. <laughs> We're not shaping up our hairline. Don't get it twisted. Clean off your clippers. And you want a steady hand with this because you will definitely cut a gash in your hair now that it has no guard on it. So be very careful using these. I'm not just saying. And you want to hold the clippers now this way, going towards the hairline. going to be like a professional cut it's just getting that hair off our nape making sure we're not looking like a wolf <laughs> walking around with all that hair growing down on our neck i'm going to switch hands here so i can get this side That's looking really, really good. Looking good for me not to be a professional, okay? So I see an area in the back of my nape, and sometimes if I can't get it with the clippers, I'll go in with one of these eyebrow archers. And I just get these from my local beauty supply store. They're sitting like right by the register. You just grab one, they come in pink and yellow, and then this teal color. And just to try to get a closer shape up, you can use one of these eyebrow archers. And this ain't the best. <laughs> this is kind of like an old one. I should have stopped at the store and got a new one. Just to make sure I was getting the, a sharper, cleaner uh, shape up. But I guess this will have to do. Make sure you go all the way down the neck. You don't want hair growing up out of your shirt and all of that. So now that the shape up part is complete, I believe it's it looks really, really good. I'm actually satisfied with the way the, the shape up turned out. We're going to try to go in now and do our finger waves. All right, so the first product I'm going to be using to uh, add the finger waves in our hair is going to be this African Pride Moisture Miracle Rose Water and Argon Oil. Soft and moist, or soft, yeah, soft and soft and smooth curl mousse not supposed to set hold and add shine to natural coils and curls so we're just going to take some of this foam and it smells oh yeah that smells so good and you just want to get that all through your hair now this is the first time i'm actually putting finger waves in my twa i've never put finger waves in my hair i never styled it that way before but i've been watching a lot of ladies on you on youtube uh face over matter in particular i've been watching her i love her i love her makeup tutorials and so i went on her channel and i was just watching and she inspired me to come on my channel and try to create some waves try to create some texture some definition give my curl some body get them to pop in and just overall just play around with my twa and have fun you know, you don't always have to just wear it blown out or, you know, 
and, and sponge curls or whatever. I want to try to put some waves in here. Probably do my little Marilyn Monroe type thing. African American style. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to get it really saturated with this argon. And it smells so amazing. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so on top of that miracle mousse we just put in, we're going to use Eco Styler Gel that has argan oil in it. And it's just a max hold gel. And we're going to go right over top of that foam. And we're going to use a heaping amount. And I'm just going to get this all over because we want our waves to be popping. And so you want to go in between the hair strands and get this all through your hair. Now, if you just want a softer look and you want to be able to comb your waves or curl them, uh, you want to leave the gel step out. You don't want to put the eco in there, just the foam. That way you can have a soft curl and you'll still be able to curl it with the curling irons once it dries completely. I'm going to make sure that product gets all through there. Every hair strand gets some. And we're going to start with our comb and start making sure we're just going to start running that product through our hair. Just want to get our little afro flat as possible. And I'm, I'm just freestyling it. I'm just going to freestyle this hairstyle. This is nothing in particular. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done this. <laughs> and we, you guys are watching it for the first time with me. So my like a I like a part in my hair. I kind of want to part in my hair. I do. So let me see if I can part my hair on this side. I've been parting it since I've dyed my hair on the left. But now that I'm trying to wave it up, I'm trying to see if see how it'll look for me waved on the on the right. So we just winging it, Chad. We gonna we gonna figure it out. Y'all gonna figure it out right with me. Let me see if I'm gonna like that on the right. Because I want to brush all the hair forward because this style is going to be covering our alopecia edges. So anything that I do with my TWA is going to accommodate our edges and my hair is natural as you can see as i'm combing it it's steadily curling back up because it's not relaxed hair so it might be a little challenging for me to style my hair natural and i'm combing everything forward and kind of like swooping it off to the side just trying to give myself a general idea of how I want my hair to look. Kind of just swooping things along. Making sure all the eco is through each strand as well as that foaming mousse. Now this towel, this hairstyle right here is always a go-to. You can always just wear your hair totally flat. You don't have to add any waves to it. You can put some of those foam or uh, those wrap strips around your hair, tie them around and just set under the blow dryer and just let your hair set up like this if you prefer it this way without any waves. But I just want to go just a little step further and see if we can start waving our hair. So how about I start over here and we're just going to start waving. Now the best way that I can show you how I'm waving is I'm just dragging the comb forward and I'm just pulling it backwards and bringing the hair down like that and we're just going to continue that process until we get our hairstyle the way we want it kind of using my fingers to hold each wave in place as I go along because my hair is probably going to keep curling up because <laughs> I'm not you know, relaxed. This is just so fun. I love planning my hair, y'all. How many out there other than me loves to just 
try new styles. Just try new things with your hair. We don't know how it's going to turn out until we do it, so we might as well just do it. I'm just waving it any not any particular way just making sure we're covering up our alopecia edges and I did just do my makeup so you might see some brown areas here <laughs> it's just some foundation I'm gonna take a little bit more of this eco styler up top run it in between those hair strands and we're gonna start waving these as well Somehow I lost my parting, as you can see. Because freestyling, you just never know how it's going to turn out or what's going to happen with your curls. So you just keep going and create stuff as you go. And I'm kind of like puffing these up here just to give it some more height on the on the top of the head. And then kind of like just making little swirls here, little edges here and there. My hair is like doing its own thing even though I'm trying to wave it it's still curling up it's it's just out here y'all <laughs> it's doing its own thing so these are not going to be like relaxed curl these are going to be more wavier than anything these are going to be like waves so let me say that I'm creating waves in my hair just want to kind of go through the ones you already did kind of make sure they're still laying down and staying in place and don't be scared of it I mean I know it's looking probably crazy at the moment but we're still going to keep on going and just keep waving and you never know it might turn out to be like a masterpiece when you're done so we're just going to keep on waving Bringing that hair on down and keep waving it up. Now for the back, I know I'm not going to be able to see the back all that well. But y'all see these. Boom, 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 boom. Hello. Hello told y'all just keep going you got to trust the process believe in yourself believe in yourself there's no wrong or right way to do it especially when you're working with natural hair everybody's hair texture is different so your curls might lay a different way than mine's which is perfectly fine with me i'm not tripping off of that I'm just doing anything as you can see i'm just bringing hair anywhere i'm just playing around with it just trying to create some cute little waves here and there I'm trying to keep these alopecia edges covered up you know i'm kind of liking the way it's turning out so far actually that's kind of cute Do something with this side just a little bit better than this. All right, let me get my mirror. Let me turn around to the back. Now, the back is definitely going to be challenging. It's going to just be 
do, a do whatever type thing to the back of the head for real for real gonna be waving them back and forth just like this combing them down trying to connect them with the front combing them down Trust the process, like I said. I know it's looking crazy right now, <laughs> but we gonna keep. We gonna keep going. We gonna. We ain't gonna stop. What are we stopping for? It's just hair. It's just hair, guys. It's just hair. We just go back in with the comb. I'm trying to make sure whatever you already waved up stays. And you continue bringing it back. Dropping it down, bringing it back. And we'll be just going back and forth. Just creating waves. That's what I'm doing. Just creating waves Excuse me. then when you get down here to the to the nape you just want to drag it straight down you don't need waves on your nape so we're not even gonna bother with that right here i'm taking the back of the the rat tail and i'm kind of like just pressing some of the waves into the scalp, pressing them just to get some of them to lay any which way is fine with me. Making sure our nape area is laid down here. Add more product if needed. I'm kind of feeling that, y'all. OMG. That turned out to be real cute, didn't it? Hold on. I like these little swirls. You know how the girls be putting them little swirls? Oh, I want a little swirl. I want a swirl too, y'all. Hold on. I want a swirl too. Putting them little circles in the front, little swirls and cute little things. Oh, I'm kind of looking like Betty Boop. <laughs> Look at the little swirls. That's what Betty Whoop will look like with a TWA. Now I'm just adding any old kind of texture to the hair. Swirling it, yeah, and I'm just doing stuff. Making sure the edges is covered. All right, let me wipe some of this off my forehead. Some of this all of this action because i did just do my makeup if y'all like my makeup let me know even though this is a hair problems and no edges channel i still be doing my own face i beat my makeup yes i do so let me grab my blow dryer this is the blow dryer that i have i don't even know what brand it is i had it for so long but i'm gonna go off camera sit forever long it's gonna take me to blow dry my hair and then i'll be back to show y'all the final results so y'all stay tuned and i'll see y'all in a minute my hair is not 100 dry just yet so i wanted to tie my edges down just to make sure once it does set and I go about my day that my hair does not lift and my edges are not exposed. So I want to make sure I dry those, but I want to make sure I tie them down. That way they'll stay all day. So we just want to tie the very front. Let's put that behind our ear. 
and then right at the bottom of the nape or taper area you want to make sure that that's covered as well so you can get that laid down and we're just going to put a little tie in it and then i'll finish blow drying all right i'll be right back all right, y'all, I am back. I positioned myself in the front of the window so you can get some natural lighting on how the hair turned out. I'm about 85% dry. Um, I love the hair. I love the way these curls turned out. I love everything about the hairstyle. I'm so happy I just challenged myself and, and tried to do something totally different uh, to my hair. Final step for me is to add more volume to the top of the hair. You can leave it like this if any of you guys are satisfied with this look but i like a lot of volume and lift at the top so i'm just going to take my little pink pick here and we're just going to lift the hair up and it's just going to give me a little bit more volume i mean i don't like my hair to be totally flat so i'm just lifting and this is just adding some volume and giving my hair more texture and more character to the style you don't want to pull the curls out, the waves out. Just want to lift. And I really think that that transitions the hairstyle a lot more. I'm now I'm really loving it now, y'all. <laughs> still covering up those alopecia edges. Still bringing hair down over top. Still feeling comfortable and confident enough to go outside in public. Let y'all see my little outfit for the day. Bag up, just some jeans, some bell bottoms, white leg pants, and just to finish off the look because it's nice and sunny outside, we're gonna throw on our shades and we're ready to go. This brings us to the end of this video, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what y'all think about this hairstyle. Let me know if you're willing to go ahead and try this hairstyle out on yourself. Uh, drop me a comment down in the comment section below. Just oh, give me a or just rate me from one to ten on how you think this hairstyle would be. Ten, of course, being the best. And yeah, when I come up with another tutorial, I'll be sure to upload it. And you guys turn on your notification bell so you'll be sure to be notified. Each and every time I put something new on my channel. Signing out. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys again in my next one. Bye.